Okay, I'm in uh, Home Designer Architectural 2016. Now, I just quickly put this together. Uh, all I did, I just drew, well, let me just go through those steps. We'll delete that. Now I'm going to go up to Build, Fencing, Straight Fencing, Left Click Drag. And this is just whatever the, the going to create whatever the default is, which is uh, this, that kind of stuff there. So I'm going to change that. Open object. Go to, um, let's see, where's the panels? There it is. Click on library under panels. And we'll find uh, chain link. There's several kinds. I'm just going to pick the first kind. Okay. Nothing much wrong with this out of the box except the poles are, are on chain link fence. Mo the, the poles are usually round. So I'm going to click on that, open it up, and change them to round. As I recall, uh, chain link fence poles are about two inch in diameter. So we'll go to newels and balusters, and, and here's where you set that on newels. We'll change that to round and the diameter to 2 inch. And to be fastidious about it, we'll go over and uh, find uh, the material settings for newels. I've never seen a chain link fence with wooden posts, so we'll change that to, I mean, you know, I suppose there could be, but uh, we'll change it to uh, something that looks like metal. Or just plain old, I guess, iron? Yeah, iron will do. Well, I think whatever this gray stuff is, I'll just use, use that. Okay. So there's a chain link fist. Now it's just kind of hanging in the air because I haven't created a terrain perimeter. We'll do that. Okay. That looks a little bit better. Now... <clears throat> We'll go to the window tool, I mean door tool, what am I talking Okay, I have to go to plan view. And uh, put a door in. Now, in a, ra in a fence, you usually get just an opening like that. So we'll change it from a doorway to a hinge. And that puts some sort of a slab door there. And then we'll go to the library browser fences and railings, gates, chain links, gates. Uh, there's several, let's see, several different choices. Okay, I'll, that's fine. Any of these will do. Now, I don't know what what problem you were having, but uh, sometimes I've seen the gates come in uh, a little low like that or a little high. And you, you just, as you can see, you just click on it and you line it up to the terrain a little bit more and then you can extend the height of the thing like that just click and drag on it so I don't know whatever whatever other problems you might have uh, I have noticed that the gates are kind of finicky sometimes let me see if I can turn on uh, edit preferences I don't know if architectural has it, it should uh, no. Maybe that that's not available in uh, architectural. I'm looking for the same wall type handle. It just saves time. I may be overlooking it, but I just, I don't see it. Toolbars. Okay. I'll just take this and uh, copy it. It's also a, a bit of a time saver. I don't have to reprogram each new wall. Using a control key to move that around, get rid of the gate. Line this up. And 
and uh, we'll copy that. That's probably good enough for just putzing around. <clears throat> but without your posting pictures or being more specific, I, d I just don't understand what problems you might be having because there shouldn't be by default any problems, of course, other than you're new and, and it takes a while to kind of learn how things, how, how things work. Anyway, I hope this will help you in some way. Thank you.